Today I'm going to show you how I treat my menopause symptoms and what actually works. Hi, I'm Shelley. This is Fabulous 50s, a lifestyle channel for women over 50. And if you're a woman over 50, click subscribe and click the bell and you'll be alerted every time there's a new video and they'll all relate to you. Today I'm going to talk about how I control my menopause symptoms and at age 52 I'm pretty much symptom free. And for the large part the reason I don't have menopause symptoms is because I learned what to do about 10 years ago to keep my body free from all of the things that happened during menopause. When I was about 42 I started the whole perimenopausal thing and all of the symptoms that came with that I got. At that point I had my blood test done and I went to the naturopath and what I was told then was that my hormones were out of balance plus I had adrenal fatigue and that part of it the adrenal fatigue made sense to me and I was told at that point that once your adrenals go down it's very very hard to repair and that was really discouraging because I wasn't feeling well I was really tired I was exhausted and my body just seemed to give way so I went on a journey to find out everything I could to heal myself and when I started to repair my adrenals and my gut health the menopause symptoms disappeared completely and during that 10 years I became a human experiment for trying new protocols and supplements and herbs and anything that I was learning about that I thought might help my body because when you have adrenal fatigue you feel so bad that all you want to do is feel good again then once you feel good you don't ever want to go back there and if you are going through perimenopause at the moment and you're in your 40s it's such a challenging time for women because we're building our careers we've got children to look after at age 42 I had three teenage sons I had a mother who was very very sick and she ended up passing away and the stress of running my business and driving the kids here and doing their homework and there is zero time for me and when we as women use every single bit of our energy to manage our stress there's nothing left to manage the health and well-being of our body and this is what I've learnt so there's two types of stress there's good stress and there's bad stress and the bad stress is the stress that we do every day so it's working hard working long hours taking care of our children being up all night doing things that have been left behind and it's eating foods that shouldn't be inside of our body so our body has to work so hard to process those foods that are foreign to our body and it's eating sugar it's you know the wrong kind of light at night time it's there's so many different things that are affecting our bodies and making our hormones go crazy which in turn makes us go crazy when we're in menopause and the good stresses that we can include into our life that really 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 help with menopause are things like stressing your body with a really cold shower or a sauna so you're stressing your body and then you're going back to normal so it's just quick and back again and exercise every day stressing your body so that it's puffed out and burning energy and then you go back back to resting pace and that's a very good place to be and another thing is being hungry for a part of the day which is intermittent fasting so those kind of stresses we give our body the body accepts the challenge releases a whole lot of energy and then we go back to normal so it's very natural but the stresses that I'm talking about that I was having and that you're probably having too is all day every day and at night because we're not sleeping and then you wake up in the morning and all the stress is there so the body is using a hundred percent of its energy to deal with your stress so today I'm going to show you the 10 supplements that I take just to manage hormones so I do take other things as well but these things are specifically for my hormones and these have all been trial and error so I experiment with everything I'll try it for a couple of months and then 
stop taking it and introduce different things along the way and there are differences so when I eliminate a couple of these things I'll get hot flushes and then when I bring them back in over a week or two they go away so yet yeah, these actually work and it's been a 10-year journey to find out things that suit my body this works for me by the way it may not work for you and if you're on medication or anything like that you need to see your doctor first the first product is progest e this is a bioidentical uh, hormone of progesterone and the adrenals use progesterone to produce an anti-stress hormone and when we have progesterone deficiency it causes an increase in our cortisol levels and when our cortisol is increased we get wrinkles on our skin very very dry skin osteoporosis uh, it affects our brain cells and lack of progesterone also gives us extra weight around our back and our bellies so all that belly fat it could be because you are not producing enough progesterone this is also great for memory and relaxing and sleeping so taking this at night just before bed helps you with your sleep so much it's just three drops I'll leave a link where you can get this but this actually has changed things up a lot for me and when my progesterone levels are even I feel so much better another herb that I absolutely love and wouldn't be without is ashwagandha and ashwagandha is another thing that works on our adrenal glands because it recharges them and again when we have our adrenals at an optimal level we don't have all of those menopausal symptoms so if you are experiencing hot flashes and mood swings try ashwagandha it really is great it, it also has an effect of making you feel good so it's kind of got a peppy effect so that's always a good thing if you're going through menopause mm. the next thing that I have every single day is a probiotic and a prebiotic so the probiotic is a beneficial bacteria for your gut and a prebiotic is a fibrous food for these bacteria so the two work perfectly together and you can take a prebiotic in many many ways through food and it's a fibrous food I take slippery elm bark and slippery elm is a slippery kind of substance that goes into your body and it coats your intestinal tract and that helps reset your body you can mix your prebiotic with a probiotic and a probiotic can be like a yogurt I use coconut yogurt because I don't have dairy and when you mix the two of these together you're going to do a great job at helping restore and repair your gut lining and research shows now that chronic illness is caused in the gut first and what we need to do every day is to repair our gut through the foods that we eat and once you can repair your gut the symptoms of menopause can start to be a lot less than what they are if your gut is very very unhealthy I also take another probiotic at night before I go to bed just to help my gut a little bit more as I'm sleeping maca is the next thing I'm going to tell you about and maca is amazing I started taking this years and years ago and maca makes a difference to your hormones I guarantee I take half a teaspoon every day every morning and I have two weeks on and two weeks off so I was taught this by my naturopath and apparently if you take too much maca it's not great for you you have to take the right amount and have a, a break from it because it's so potent and it really does help with your symptoms if I stop taking this I'll get hot flushes so the way I was taught to take this is at, in the middle of your cycle on day 14 you take it from day 14 to day 28 and then you stop for another 14 days so if you're not regular anymore I still do the same thing and it has worked like a charm for me I'm sure this helps reduce hot flushes it does for me hopefully it does for you too I also take spirulina every day and this is blue green algae and it promotes cellular regeneration plus it also gives you energy and balances your hormones so this is another thing if I don't take it I do notice a slight difference I've been taking it for a long time and yeah these things here really really work this is also full of protein 
so if you're vegetarian this is a really good thing for you but definitely spirulina works for my symptoms because when I stop taking it and when I do my experiment I do notice a change for sure I also take vitamin B12 every day and one of the things that's directly related to menopause is it helps with sleep so a deficiency in B12 means that you will have trouble falling asleep and staying asleep so if you're not taking B12 that's another really good one for you to look at vitamin D is another one I take it with K2 combined and vitamin D is something that I thought that I would never need because I live in Australia and I'm out in the sun all the time but when I had my bloods tested I was very deficient in vitamin D so I was shocked so vitamin D is for cellular growth and reduction of inflammation and I've learned since that vitamin D is something that most of us need more of and if we can get it into our bodies the symptoms of our diseases and our illnesses would be a lot less and the last thing I want to share with you is magnesium and magnesium is something that most of us are deficient in particularly women in menopausal years and a magnesium deficiency can cause us to be tired and restless and then when we do get to bed we can't sleep and it can also cause disharmony within our hormones so taking magnesium every day is a must I think for most people so try adding a few of these or all of these into your daily routine reduce the stress we don't have to do so much I think a lot of it is our own selves telling us that we've got to do more and more and more but we don't we need to relax that's what menopause is that's what getting older is we've got to slow down take a breath and enjoy our life because that's what we're here to do and I feel better now and more healthy and full of vitality because of the things that I do now way much better than what I was in my 30s and 40s we are here at this stage of life to enjoy ourselves so work on your health so that you've got a lot more energy please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with any of your friends who are having trouble with menopause thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day